Hello everybody, my name is Confused for the Nine, and I'm here to welcome you to another episode of Soma. I did slide from the left side of my mic to the right side of my mic, and I'm hoping it translated well. If it didn't, oh well. Just more of my tomfoolery for you to enjoy. We ended this with a robot yelling that they hate Kathleen because apparently everyone except me hates Kathleen. Um, and then uh, the done that broke, and I'm assuming we're gonna have to walk. We're in a vent right now, so why don't we go ahead and see how this goes? As per usual, we're gonna begin with the ceremonial light tank of the candle, which is the old formulation of Black Cherry Merlot. Yes, I'm still mad that they changed the formulary, and I want an apology. An apology with tears, Bath and Body Works. So anyway, let's light it. I should use the other one. Oh, we'll see. I was not prepared for it to land on my own. Looks a little Let us continue my psychological torture. The Dunbat has been corrupted by the WoW. There's no way to save it. Simon and Catherine will have to find another way to get into the Abyss and find the Ark. So we're gonna have to take the long way, aka long way, aka walk there. Which I don't know how we're gonna walk there, considering the in, in Catherine's words, the Dunbat is the only thing that can make it into the abyss without crumbling like a soda can. What's stopping us from crumbling like a soda can? Hopes and dreams? Cause I'm pretty sure Simon has lost most of those. <laughs> Alright. As is Oh. I'm pretty sure I heard it. There's gonna be no way I'm gonna make it. Ambient noises. Well, if I die, I die. <sighs> I did not in fact die. Plan B filled out a acquiring the dog. That's nice, it's not Good at all. What? Alright, folks, we're gonna open the
Sweet. Huh? Wait, this isn't... Oh, no! Wow got to the Dunbat before we did, am I right? Yeah, that's pretty... Well, it was talking. That's rarely a good sign. Damn it. The Dunbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't quit now. There's gotta be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? Well, if they didn't use the Dunbat, the only other way would be the Climber at Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the Abyss. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah. Okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the Abyss. Thanks, Captain. <laughs> that does sound useful. Alright, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Fucking Seems to be a lot of information on the art here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the Ark. Oh, that's wrong. You didn't know how to get us on? How difficult could it be? Catherine. Catherine, sweetheart. Oh, documents. My decision. Oh, it's Catherine. I've decided to finalize the Ark with the scans we have. I'm sorry for all of you who wanted to go, but didn't get a chance to scan yourself before the project was put on hold. It's been two months since I've added a scan, and I don't see how I'll ever be able to win back the support you all showed me. Ever be able to win back the support you all showed me when we started the project. I'm sorry. I never meant for anyone to take their lives. It was never my intention to fool anyone. I just wanted to save someone. Dr. Catherine Chen. What's left? Apply interface model, seal art capsule. Ask permission from 4Q, Reef, uh, Ivishkin, Lindwald, Pedersen, and Hill. Take shuttle to Omnicron. Pick up power suits. Ride the climber into the abyss. Regroup at Tau. Head to launch site. Load the bullet. Launch the yeah. arc. Okay, we already know it's at five. Yep. So we just need to get to Omicron. So we should be. We should be okay. Arc attitude survey. To gauge staff op op opinion, please fill out the short survey. Recently, it was decided that the Arc project would become Pathos 2's last official commitment. The staff has been urged to carry on with their duties despite Earth's catastrophic condition. I think the Ark project is the most logical step towards saving mankind that we should spend as much time and resources as needed to complete it. I mean, at this point, just put everyone on immediate suicide watch. Like, take away all razor blades, all cyanide pills, everything that they did to kill themselves. That's just, that's just my suggestion. Or just do a, like, very thorough pat down into the exam room. Then post-exam room, uh, suicide watch. Padded cell and everything. To embark, every passenger needs to be flushed with electromagnetism using a pilot seat. These scanning sessions are known to cause nausea and headaches, sometimes lasting up to three days. I think temporary physical discomfort, no matter how severe, is a small price to save mankind. The Ark is built to fit a Ranger MK2 V2 probe, meaning it could be shot into space with the Omega space gun. Still fucking think it's hilarious that it's called a space gun. And technically survived for thousands of years, living off the light from our sun and distant stars. I think the Ark should leave Earth behind and be launched into space. That was the original plan, and why not do it with what you got, right? It's kind of hard to overrun space with pollution. Unless Earth in this world has somehow figured out how to do that. Which would be quite impressive, by the way. The, digitali the digitalization of humanity is an opportunity to make a quantum leap in our own evolution. The people inside the Ark will, out of necessity, be generated from existing genetic code, but could be altered to allow for cosmetic changes, ease aging, and even prevent death. I think we are at the risk of losing our humanity if we were to rid ourselves of disease or mortality. Yeah, probably. Imagine the, becoming the purge 24-7 inside the Ark just because you can't die in it. It's like... 
the, the anti anti dying uh, like field from Rick and Morty or whatever. That's the only comparison I can really think. There are only 58 people left alive to be stored inside the Ark. A way to diversify and expand the population would be to introduce artificial intelligences that would in every way appear to be human, but with childlike and naive sensibilities. As we continue to explore the nature of intelligence, we may find a way to make them smarter in the future. I think even an inferior group of artificial people would benefit from our society. I kind of disagree with that, because then they're just kind of trying to get the real hum the, the human scans to fuck the AI. And I don't know if that is like electronic sass or something. Okay, here's the percentage. Thank you for participating. This is how your colleagues voted. Arc approved. Arc approval, 76%. Eternity among the stars, 68%. Inferior companions. Okay, uh, most people said strongly disagree. I'm not, not the only one there. Pain for gain. Yeah, I agree with that. 52% agree. Artificial evolution. Just, just agree. Okay, I'm with the majority. That's good to know. Good to know. Okay, you're getting moved over to me or something. Trip on you. All right, Catherine. Oh, I'm gonna wait to find that one. Then. The building station got on it. What's this thing? That's just a compound examiner. Coster uses it to investigate structural integrity in payload frameworks. Of course. Could you fit inside it? If I knew what you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier to figure out how to get you on the ark. I'll give it a try. Oh, okay, so I'm going inside. Ooh, that is gonna be a memory over there. I'm gonna do some data mining on that as soon as I figure exhaust all options in here. Alright, let's figure out what I'm made of as per happening with this. Bit of a tight fit. Can you reach the on switch? Yeah, you can reach right there. Ooh, it's like a TSA. Should I be worried about radiation? I think we're beyond that. Interesting. You seem to be one with the diving suit you're wearing. Everything's meshed together. Ooh. How's that gonna work with the suit we're picking up at Omicron? Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. That's really neat. Imaging. Who's that? It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. A standard cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the Ocu torch, has just been forced through the skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on. Back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. Hey, don't say that. She was my... She was nice to me. Anyway. The Cortex chip is good news. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Kath, I'm half a dead person. Yes, it makes sense. Think about it. All those simplistic minds we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both worlds. A sound mind and a sound body. Stick. Thank you for that interpretation. At least we know how to get on the line. Sort of. I understand the concept, but I don't know the specifics. I really wish we could figure out how the scan data is formulated and processed. Uh, let's try talking No device connected. So let's go ahead and grab you. Let's plug you in. There we go. That's starting to work. Fire up. Completed, chum, data, mem chat. Approximately 43.75% memory corrupted. Simulation reconfiguration necessary. Ooh, that's a lot. Memory corruption is okay. Okay. Mm. 
kita sudah kita Thoughts. Start an art simulation. I want to see how it works. Okay, thanks. That is so helpful. What do you think I'm trying to do, girl? Okay, everything selected is a no go. Let's just tell you what one they need to know, like has. The physics rigid. And we need the sim base. Alright, this is the forest that we need. And this is the sim base? No. Yeah, that's the sim base. I'm looking at the ones that are lighting up. Is explored in the fluids. Active. It's a sea forest. Great lake needs some base type stuff. Does not need fluids, I could be able to interface in forest. Okay, so one more. So, okay, uh, data image. Data image. Heat's corrupted. Um, so close. 
Whatever makes us explode, we do lake instead, we do soft physics, and type light, beautiful. Nope, that requires food and spoon. Yeah, that also requires food. Let's try. I think I already tried that. We need really some form of light that moves. This is not. At no. There's heat. Fuck. Didn't light. Physics and three. Add uh, light type. I think it's just another way she'll say. Regular training applies. Don't want to direct, don't stay until it, don't detonate, don't dive in malfunction. Okay. Wow, that's so cool. It's the whole gang. A crew photo? Really? Who are you saving this for? The world was dead. Thanks, Simon. I thought being an asshole wasn't invented until the 22nd century. Now I know better. No, nope, it's always existed. <laughs> Power packs, tugs. Extra oxygen, P2 permission. Prep art the signal transmitter. God, wish I knew what that meant. That's fine, all right. Quick stop at Omicron, then Tau, then Phi. Let's do it.
I would just like to know how the video game is stored. So I need to run a simulation. This is irritating the hell out of me. So we're trying to have it next time. Interface scan that the lights is what we're having trouble So we're gonna try the like this thing. and I need Bowie. Yes! I did it. Oh my fucking god, that took so long. Try loading a dummy scan. Shouldn't be that difficult. I just want to make sure I understand how the scan data is formulated before we start messing around with the real arc. Yeah. Run the simulation and then hit pause while the code is running. It'll give me a cross-section of the process. Right. Don't know how to cross, but we'll figure it out. We need to pause while the dummy is loaded, otherwise I can't know if it's working or not. No, try again. The dummy needs to be loaded when you pause. Try pausing it when the dummy is loaded. You need to catch it while it's being loaded. Too fast for me to do this yet. Where's the dummy? Come on, come on. Great, right, diagnostics. Yes, of course. So precise, so perfect. Nothing like admiring your own work. What? Oh. Right. Are we done here? Can we go to Omicron and get my new suit now? Yeah, we should get going. Want to bring this arc as a backup? No, that wouldn't work. This is just a prototype. Good. I prefer to travel light. Let's go. Don't forget to take me with you. I can never do it. I can never forget you. 
Right. I want to touch that thing over there. Lovely. Stromeyer. Brand, where are you? It got out of hand. I'm in sector RD4. Did you get everyone downstairs? Yeah, we're safe for now. But you need to get moving. They're gonna figure out where we are and come for us. Don't worry about it. The stairs are blocked and I killed the elevator. Pulled the connector chip from the lock. Fine. That means you're stuck as well. Only way to keep you guys safe. Take the shuttle, go to Omicron. Just had to be the hero, you bastard. Good luck, sir. Tell Alice I love her. Well, cool. that wasn't terrifying at all. No me gusta. Survival of the fittest. Sarah, how the hell are we going to make sure the Ark makes it? Every launch is a crapshoot, you know that. I just wish these numbers looked better. What do you care? It's just a pack of data, right? Yeah, just a pack of data. Knowing my luck, I need to get over there. Nothing is shining or glinting at me. Here at least, so oh, I can tell this next part is gonna be impossible. Things get to go online. We might as well just do a break here so I can spend the entirety of the next episode shooting myself. Alrighty, if you're still here and you made it to, to the end of this video, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you guys are having as much fun uh, as I am being terrified. I'm also having fun, so no worries. I may be torturing myself with these, but I'm not that evil towards myself. Like, come on. There's gotta be a limit. 
anyway i hope you guys enjoyed and if you if you did like it make sure to drop a like and maybe give that little subscribe button a little nudge nudge there there's also a bell sign right next to it uh, and i'll let you know whenever i upload a new video which is every thursday at 3 p.m eastern time so if you're feeling particularly generous feel free to hop down below and check out my patreon and or ko-fi i don't know if i'll have the ko-fi set up at that point but so i'm just plugging both of those just in case it's all it's all set um and in any case i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day see ya i'd like to thank everybody for joining me for today's gaming sesh i love video games and i love sharing that passion with others even more none of this youtube stuff would be possible without you guys Though we are small in numbers, I figured I'd offer you more ways to support the channel other than just subscribing to my YouTube. My solution? Subscribe to my Patreon. This will help me buy games to expand the scope of entertainment for you to consume here on my channel. It will also help me pay my lovely editor, Chris. The button to sub on my channel is down below, and then below that, in the description, is the link to sub to my Patreon. I hope to meet you there. See ya!